So in Mark 4, 18 and 19, it says, see, well, it's seed sown among the thorns. So what does the enemy do? He knows now you're going to church. He knows now you're committed. So what he'll do is get you distracted. He'll get you so distracted, you might be busy for the things of the Lord, but you're not even having your own devotional time with the Lord. You're, you're, you're occupying, but you're too busy. And you're too busy, and so you're unfruitful. What's the fruit you've been bearing? Is there fruit? So that's what we all have to assess ourselves, and we all have to see where are we at. Or are we constantly blaming everybody else for our problems? We have to look here first. Circumstances can happen, but only I can change this. So I made a choice. I made a choice. I'm going to change. And I made a choice. Lord, only through you can I be the best employee. Only through you. I know everybody looks at me like, oh, Lord, here she comes. But no, only you can turn that around where I have favor that surrounds me like a shield. Amen. Only you can turn this around, God, with my help. And so I made that choice. I made the choice to not be rebellious, to not tell my boss off. I mean, every, moment, every now and then you had a little moment where you slipped, but, but, but to not, no, right? I mean, we do. But to not um, walk in that path any longer. The seed of the word, I devoured the word of God. I really did. And my mom, you know, my mother, <laughs> my mom would tell me right where I was at, you know, and I said, she would say to me, Oh, brother, she's not reading the book. You know, if I wasn't in the book, it made a difference. That's why we have to get in the Word, because the Word makes a difference. So in John, oh, so then in uh, Mark chapter 4, verse 8 and 20, God, uh, there's a good ground. See, the Bible doesn't say that we're never going to have an issue in life. The Bible doesn't say that you're not going to mess up at times, but we get back up. And we said, Lord, you know what? If God be for me, who can be against me? You are creating a path for me. You're going before me, and you're making a way where there is no way. And the Lord is saying, he, I, every one of us have different circumstances. Some of you are believing, uh, you know, you might be believing to conceive or to have a child. Other you are, some of you are believing for uh, uh, prosperity. Other you are, uh, others are believing for family restoration. You're believing for a complete healing. God is saying, with me, nothing's too impossible. In Genesis, it says, is there anything too hard for me? In Jeremiah, it says that my word is like a hammer, and it breaks and shatters the opposition. See, that's what the word of God does for us. And I honestly, I thought more about suicide. It's so, I'm so saddened over all the people that are committing suicide. They need God. They need God. They need the hope of glory. They need God, the word of God, not just going through the motions, but know and say, Lord, if you can make change to my life, Lord, I am going to surrender myself. I'm going to do what it takes, Lord. I'm going to commit myself. I'm determined for breakthrough. I was determined for breakthrough. I had no hope. I was told you'll never amount to anything. I had no hope but God. And God said, you can. And God says you can break out of the, the, the funk that you're in. God says you can turn things around. God says you can be a mouthpiece. God says you can pray for the people and they'll be sick. God says you can have a happy marriage. God says you can have you know, a blessed family, wonderful children. God said. And so, and he said, and so, so be it. Not what the enemy's saying, not what the mind. I lived my life too long like that. And I, I was really tired of it. And it was either that or kill myself because I heard all the time you need to die. You need to commit suicide. You need to commit suicide. And that's real. And when you feel that pain and when you feel that, you know, so many people here have believed that lie. You, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Suicidal fantasies. I said, Lord, I don't know if I believe you. You know, God is okay with us speaking truth. Yeah. All right? That's okay. So faith doesn't mean that you don't acknowledge your situation. It's just the situation's not going to have final say. Period. The word's going to have final say. But I have to be in his presence to hear the step-by-step -step directions. That's the difference. Sometimes we, we get presumptuous, and it's like, well, just say, well, what did the Spirit of the Lord tell you about it? How did he say to go about this? That's where we lack sometimes. We have to hear what is the directive. And he, he said, listen, you're my sheep. So my sheep hear my, my voice, right? 
So this is what God wants us to understand. In James 1, 18 through 25, in the Passion Translation, um, you know, I'm just going to read the, the last portion, verse 20. It, you know the word in the New King James, it says it's the implanted word that's able to save your soul. So in the, in the um, Passion, it says, you know, that we are to have a, be with a sensitive spirit and we absorb God's word, which has been implanted within our nature for the word of life has power to continually deliver us. Amen. Continually. It's not a one shot deal. Continually deliver us. We have to, you know, there's circumstances in life that tries to stop you up. So I need that continual deliverance. I need to get free from grief. I need to get free from the disappointment. That's not going to stop me. That's not going to stop me. I'm going to keep on moving. It might stop you up a little bit, but here's what the word of God says that, you know, you shall decree that thing and it shall be established unto you. The Lord saying, the Lord saying, you decide that thing when you decree that thing and say, Lord, I know that you'll give me the strategy and how to, how to break through. And so because God has, in John 15, 16, God has commissioned us to bear fruit. So what I want to ask you today is what seeds have you been planting? What seed, is it unbelief? Because unbelief is also anchored in what's visible, all right? So we, we see those things. Unbelief is anchored in the invisible, so, Lord, I know what you're saying, and, you know, but your, your heart is your spirit man, and so you, you see things by the spirit, right? I mean, you all know what I'm talking about? And so, you know, you can keep saying, the, you know, the negative, but that will keep your situation on, on, on lockdown. And so we have this seed in 1 Peter 1.23 in the Passion. It says, for though the eternal and living word of God, through the eternal living God, word of God, you've been born again. And this seed that he planted within you can never be destroyed, but will live and grow inside you for, forever. So I want you to understand something. You are stronger than you realize. We've all been given a measure of faith, and you have it. It's just developing it. It's going to the gym. Those of you who work out, you know that you're not going to just get built and toned just by thinking about it. You have to do something with it, right? So it's the same thing here. God wants us to develop. God wants us to grow. He wants us to build. He wants us to be in that intimate place with him because he desires to bring the blessing and turnaround in my life. You know, again, I, I, I can't emphasize this enough about how hopeless I felt. And, and I thought, wow, if, 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 this, if this word could be true, if I can have turnaround in my life, I'm going to do what it takes. And I'm so grateful I did that. I planted the word. You are to plant the word. And I'm sure many of you are doing it. I'm not saying you're not. But, you know, I'm not where I need to be yet. I know the Lord's saying, listen, I, need, I want you to believe for me. I want you to expand your horizon. You know, Jabez, he's saying, listen, you know, he prayed. He's, oh, 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 expand me, stretch me. You know, expand my territory. I don't want to stay where I'm at. We should never be stagnant. We should always be moving on in the Lord. 